Hey, it's Mixology with Mika, and today we are making this delicious mimosa that will be perfect for Valentine's Day. You're going to start with some fresh strawberries, a lime, and of course, champagne. I like to roll my limes. This is how you get the most juice out of them. Or you can pop this in the microwave for about 30 seconds, and it makes all the juices uh come <laughs> all right so what you're going to do is you're going to take our strawberries wash your strawberries cut the end off you get these nice beautiful delicious strawberries i like to go for the darkest strawberry because they say the darker the berry the sweeter the juice and that is in real life the truth you're going to take a couple of strawberries and all we're going to do is we are going to smash the strawberries now i have this very fancy tool because you know i'm a bartender and this is a muddler and what it does is it has these ridges and you just go in and you smash the strawberries if you don't have a muddler if you don't it's okay are you going to use as a spoon it's just a fancy spoon. So you're going to go in there with your spoon and you're just going to smash these strawberries. Because we are going to extract the juice, but we still want the texture of the strawberry. Right? So once they're all nice and muddled, we're going to take the lime. I'm only going to use half of this. And guess what we're going to do? squeeze the lime juice in the strawberries there is something about the combination of lime and strawberries it just goes perfectly together take this mixture stir it up and here comes the fun part all we're going to do is add this mixture to a glass top it with champagne voila you have your Mimosa. I am going to make his and hers. I'm not using champagne flutes for this cocktail. You can. I like to put them in different glasses. I say his and hers. You can serve them both in here. You can serve them both in here. You can serve them in champagne flutes. Do what you want to. Now, you see this lime that we had? Okay. We're going to use this to rim our glass. We take the lime, the one that we already squeezed, and we're gonna go around the rim of your glass, okay? You're gonna take some sugar and just roll the sugar, roll the glass in the sugar. And you have this beautifully rimmed, <gasps> Okay, let's build this cocktail. Okay, we're going to fill, not fill, we're going to put some of that delicious puree that we just made in the glass. And then all you're going to do, let's pop the champagne. Now when I pop champagne, I just twist and I twist it all the way up and I take it. That's how you pop champagne like a pro, okay? And we're going to fill, ooh, this is the fun part. The glass with the champagne. And then let's garnish these. Every drink needs a garnish. You're gonna garnish with the strawberry. You're just gonna take your strawberry and you're just gonna cut a little slit, not down the middle, but a little bit off to the side. And you're going to Stick it on there. Ooh and then for the mill, we're going to take our line and we're going to cut a pinwheel. Let me show you. Just slice. A nice little circle. Make sure it's thick enough and not flimsy. Okay. And we're just going to cut just a little bit. Stick that on the side. And there we have it, his and hers strawberry lime mimosas, perfect for Valentine's Day. Cheers.